Hey guys, how is everyone? I hope you're well. Um, I'm about to get into my 340-350 conversion. Um, maybe put this uh, 346 top end on it. Um, but um, it's a Warhawk from HL Supply. I've never ordered one of them. Um, I've not even looked at it to be honest with you. Um, so we're gonna all take a look at it together here. And you know, see what she looks like, see what you get. Um, I've seen some guys use them, they seem to have good luck. Um, it's always good if you can find a good quality aftermarket part, but uh, here lately it's like finding a needle in a haystack. But uh, again, um, it's labeled as a Warhawk. Um, wasn't very costly, which kind of makes me skeptical. I was almost about to buy an OEM cylinder, and you know, who knows? I may end up doing that in the end, but um, hopefully, we've got a real nice piece here. I will say that I went ahead and ordered a cable ring to go with it, and I was missing like the outer bar plate for the I bought an aftermarket clutch cover for that saw, and I bought all three things. You'd think they would have all three came in the same box. Um, usually if I order multiple items from a seller, they'll combine the shipping, they'll refund a little bit of money back to your card, and uh, ship it all in one box. But HL Supply, pretty damn weird. Um, they shipped all three items out separate on the same day, but, you know, we did get all three items on the same day. So, you know, whatever, it worked out in the end, but... Uh, Anybody, if anyone's hooked up with them, you should let them know that uh, a lot of us would appreciate it if you just combined shipping. All of it would have fit in this one box and, uh, you know, saved us a little bit of money. This thing was packaged with cable ring. I'm gonna feel kind of stupid. Um, wrist pin. Um, there's a ring. Okay, it's not a cable ring. It's just a box similar to what a cable would come in. Let's just drop all of that back in there. Let's look like your typical old cast ring that would be sent to keep cylinder and piston hip. Um, I actually like those sir clips. Um, get it to pick up but they don't have that big long tail that like your farmer tech kits but um what was funny that 460 i got the piston that come with it um i said it didn't look like a typical farmer tech cylinder kit um it had oem style circlips with it which i thought was really weird you never ever see that on an aftermarket cylinder and the ones i've done you usually don't First things first. Um, cylinder to piston fitment's okay. Um, pretty good looking piston. I like the finish on it. Um, not a lot of sharp edges or anything, but you know, we'll go over it anyway. Um, single ring design, that's good. Um, this is like 40, 44.3 millimeters. What the later model 346s were. The very early ones, I think, were 42 millimeter and 45 cc's. This will be just shy of 50 cc's, 49 cc's, and some change, I think. Um, pretty good looking piston. Um, pretty high quality looking piece, to be honest with you. Um, the cylinder um. all right guys figured i'd give take you off the tripod and give you a look at the cylinder um 
it does look like everything has a chamfer on it but it's kind of rough if that makes any sense um transfers are staggered you can probably easily see that um, there's a lot of room for improvement here um even just doing minor flow work would improve this thing a lot i believe um intake port um it does look like it's sitting where it should be um it's got a pretty rough casting finish on it but you know that's typical of a 30 dollar cylinder you can't really expect much um the plate and don't go up over the squish band i kind of like that um it means if i need to cut the band on this it'll cut super easy um exhaust port however i've sat and looked and looked at it and i'm not gonna know 100 percent short i get a ring push down in there but um, I don't know that it's sitting exactly even. Um, it looks like it could be cocked to be my left a little bit. Um, looking at it, but again, it'd be minimal if it is. Again, it does have a chamfer on it. Um, the bottom of the port's razor sharp, though. Um, plating on it and the cross hatch actually looks pretty decent for a $30 cylinder. I don't know how thick the plating is yet. Um, I won't find out though I go to grinding on it, but um, from what I can tell, it's not the thickest stuff in the world. But uh, another look at the exhaust port, um, it's pretty rough to be honest with you. You can kind of see that lip around the outer edge of it there. And there's some uh, casting spill over in it here and there, but you know, nothing we can't clean up. Um, for 30 bucks, I believe I'll be happy with it, depending on where the port timing and stuff falls out on it. Um, we'll just have to see, but um, hopefully the next video you guys see on this is it going on the saw, or maybe the saw running and be showing you the cylinder or something. I'm kind of undecided on how I want to do it, but um, I've never bought one of these Warhawk cylinders. Um, I don't know if it's made in China or Taiwan. Um, I guess it really don't matter. Um, it's $29. So uh, anyway, um, just thought I'd share it with you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. You guys stay safe. Everybody have a good day.